another video um, in this one we will continue with my previous video there I've made a custom template for my archive for my category 1 archive as you can see here with a nice hover animation when I hover it it gives color to the image you see the shadow effect underneath the box and we also have the scrolling the fading in animation set up like this so we've done this with the cadence elements um, block within a section block so check out my last video if you want to know how I've done this and now we're going to customize this a little bit more so if you want to make a little bit more changes to our uh, archive I'll show you some other stuff you can do with cadence elements so let's open this in a new tab and then go to appearance cadence elements click on my custom archive so this is the one I've created in my last video we're going to create a new one and then let's do template get one header for example we call it and then we have to check here it's going to be a template as well we're going to set it on our replace above content hero and then we're going to set it on our single category or category archives and it's going to be individually and we're going to set cat1 this is the same setup as my, my previous video and this is also the same yeah now we have to put some uh, stuff here um, let's create a row layout or maybe let's just use a design library so this is something i often forget but it's uh, something some things sometimes it's really easy to just import something if you think oh I need a hero section um, let me see what I like and we're just going to um, take this one for example it's just gonna import it for me and then we're going to have to welcome to my get one archive just click on publish and then we're going to refresh my cat1 and then you see the default title that was here is now replaced with my custom header yeah and we can make this dynamic and the advantage is we, um, we can set this if you want like a general header <coughs> if i remove uh, this one i can always say i also want this for cat2 so i can create one type of header and I can import it inside of other templates uh, and it will replace the uh, above content hero and um, so this will also apply now to my cat1 and my cat2 so this is still my cat1 and if I then go let me open home and see if I can find my posts with tags cat1 is here this is cat2 if I click on it you will see cat2 this is now cat2 has the same header but then we have the default layout of the cadence archive that is set up with the customizer so that's the awesome thing working with cadence elements that you can create different archives but still have some elements uh, span across different archives that should be the same the only thing is that this one should be uh, made dynamic because now it says cat1 archive on the cat1 archive but also on the cat2 archive we get the same so we can replace this and we try to make a dynamic import we're going to check all things archive title might work at the dynamic content this is now not working correctly because it's in this inside of the element but it will work correctly here you see welcome to my cat one and you see it changes to a to a capital let me go back to home let me go back to my cat2 and now you see it's dynamically updated so you can make something like this and then it will be imported um, and be updated according to the archive that it's applied to yeah so cat1 again and you see it changes back to cat1 so this is also another awesome thing you can do so you're replacing the default um, header or above content hero uh, with something like this for example okay